Hello friends, my name is Amulli and in this video I am going to show you how you can install WordPress on your domain name via cPanel. So I have Namecheap cPanel account, however this applies to almost any cPanel on any company server like HostGator, Emotion Host. Uh, whatever you have so this applies to all the C panels and you will not see much difference on cPanel interface so to get to the cPanel first of all you need to visit your cPanel URL that is here so make sure you open your browser and visit this format using your domain name so like www.yourwebsite.com slash cPanel and you'll get to this page similar page right where you'll see cPanel and it will ask you for the username and the password so grab that username and password from the email that you received when you signed up for the account and enter your username and the password and then you click login once you click login you will get to the cPanel page which will look like this so here um, on this page basically you have to look for WordPress so you will see the installer section that you can drag wherever you want to right and uh, you can put it on the top and then you can look for the CMS so here we are going to work with the WordPress so you can click on simply WordPress and this takes you to this uh, this is on name shape uh, you may have a different interface over here but the process is almost similar so now here you already have selected WordPress now I have to click on install now right and if you have okay so forget it so install now click on install now here you have to select the domain name and you can leave it the protocol as it is however if you want to choose any other you can definitely do so now directory you simply leave it blank and then you have to name your site like whatever the name of site is you can describe your site and then here comes the admin account so you can give it whatever you want because this will be required every time you want to log in also so you choose a good password and then you can make changes to this email account the username for the email account from here right and you can certainly select the language of your choice and then uh, if you want to go to the advanced options this is database name prefix you can change it whatever you want it to and uh, like if you want a backup once a day once a week once a month whatever it is and then minimize it here you can select a theme but if you do not select it's going to install the default one and depending on the in the year you're going to install the theme you'll get that particular year default theme from WordPress and then you have to enter one email address a valid email address so that you can get all the credentials the login credentials sent to your email address so enter your email address here and then you select sorry click on install and you will see a progress bar over here and then you are done then what you have to do you have to visit your website so your domain dot com WP admin on this page you have to enter this 
admin username and the password and then you will get to your admin section for WordPress so this is how you can install WordPress on any cPanel like HostGator, Mainchip and similar hosting companies so this is it for this video please like share and subscribe for my channel and have a good day guys thank you and bye bye take care